to learn from someone who had what it is that I wanted. A lot of us were listening to people that don't have what it is that we want. We're questioning the information that they're sharing with us. We're questioning their way of thinking. We're giving excuses as to how they're where they are today. All right? You got to understand this, guys. Submitting is not because that person's better than you. No one's better than you. You were created by the same individual. You were created by God. Everybody is the same. But there are people out there that you can learn from. There are people out there that you can listen to. So my question for you tonight is who are you listening to? Some of you have chairman tens that are making over $10,000 per month, but you're not really listening to them, right? Because you're questioning and saying, well, why are they not chairman 25? Well, you're not a chairman 10 yet. They know what you don't know. So you've got to listen, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to make a decision that you're going to listen, because I promise you this, if you listen, eventually, ladies and gentlemen, when you look up 10 years later, you will be way ahead of that person you were listening to at that particular time, at that particular time. So if you're listening to me right now, that means that 10 years from now, you'll be earning way more than what I'm earning right now. Yes, and that will be a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. When I look at Gary McSween, the amount of time it took him to get to $100,000 per month in income, it was much shorter than the time it took me to actually get there, ladies and gentlemen. That is the purpose of having a mentor and having a coach and having someone that you listen to. You're supposed to get there a whole lot faster. You're supposed to supersede your coach and your mentor, but you've got to listen. You've got to listen. Who are you listening to? Not who are you hearing, because some of you are just hearing me right now, but some of you are actually listening. All right. Who have you submitted to? Who are you deciding? Hey, I'm going to follow. OK, I'm going to I'm going to I made that decision 11 years ago. I'm going to follow. I'm going to learn. And if I learn what it is that they know, then I'll have what it is that they have. All right. So step number one, ten thousand dollars per month. Who are you listening to? That's at ten thousand dollars per month or more. All right. It's number one. Number two, how teachable and coachable are you? How teachable and coachable are you? You're on this call right now. Fantastic. You're willing to learn. Because being teachable and coachable is two parts to it. Number one, I'm willing to learn. Number two, I'm willing to change. My willingness to learn times my willingness to change, ladies and gentlemen. So you're on this call. I'll give you a 10. But if you're not willing to change, right, that's a zero. 10 times zero equals zero. You're not teachable and coachable. Well, David, I'm learning. I'm, I'm here, but, but guess what? You're not changing the way you're thinking. You're not changing your confession. You're not changing the way you speak. You're not changing the way you dress. You're not, cha you're not changing, ladies and gentlemen. If you're teachable and coachable, not only are you going to be willing to learn, you're also going to be willing to change. Change. All right? That's the key to being teachable and coachable. All right? So. I'm willing to uh, uh, I'm willing to submit my way of thinking. I now know this is who I'm listening to. I'm teachable and coachable. I'm going to learn from them. And whatever it is they say I need to change, I'm going to change it. I'm not going to speak negative. I'm not going to think negative. I'm not going to confess negativity. I'm not going to spend time with people that tolerate me. I'm going to spend time with people that celebrate me. I'm going to spend time with people that are where it is that I want to go. I'm going to change. If I've got to read the books, I'm going to read the books. If I've got to listen to the audios, I'm going to do that. Whatever my coach, my mentor tells me to do, I am going to do it. That is the mentality you got to have. All right? And it's not because the coach is better. It's not because the coach is greater than you. No, it has nothing to do with that. It just means that they have something that you don't have yet. But if you listen to them, you'll have greater, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you that. All right, I promise you that. All right, now, step number three to accomplishing this goal here, ladies and gentlemen, all right, is what I call the success balance scale. I want you to write this down. The success balance scale. All right, now, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. We have defined that success is $10,000 per month. All right, we have defined that. 
I want you to write this down before I forget. Write this down. Somebody put this in the chat. IMLSOARS.com. All roads are leading right now to Fort Lauderdale. IMLSOARS.com. You want to have that website ready. All right. Write it down. Have it ready because I'm going to give you some instructions tonight. I just told you the four basics to success. You want to get the $10,000 per month. You are listening to someone right now that obviously is making more than $10,000 per month. So you got to decide now, am I going to follow the instructions of the person that has exactly what it is that I want? That's the decision. You've got to make that decision. I made that decision 11 years ago. I did. I said, listen, whatever you tell me to do, that's what I'm going to do. I need to write down IMLSource.com. I'm going to write it down. I need to take notes. I'm going to take notes. If I need to be on the front row while you're talking, I'm going to be on the front row while you're talking. If that's the way you present, I'm going to present that way. If that's the way you dress, I'm going to dress that way. If that's the way you talk, I'm going to talk that way, not because the person is better, not because the person is greater, but because the person has the $10,000 per month where I'm not at. Do you understand that? That is the per It's selfish. You're actually being selfish by listening because it benefits you, ladies and gentlemen. So write it down, imlsource.com. There is a balance to success. One side of success is spiritual. All right. The other side of success is physical. All right. Two sides. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand that everything that shows up in the physical first was shaped in the spiritual. This watch I'm wearing first was created spiritually. It first was created over here. And then there were some physical things that they had to do in order for it to come out in its physical equivalent. All right. Over here, spiritual, and over here, physical. 90% to 99% of success is spiritual. 1 to 10% of it is physical. All right? 90 to 99%. Everything, everything that shows up in the, this marker right here, this marker first was created over here. This over here is the mental side of success. Over here is the natural side of success. Over here is the thinking. Over here is the thoughts. Over here is the words. Over here is the visualization. Over here is the images. Over here is the emotions. Over here is the feelings. Over here is the energy. The energy. Over here is the hearing. All right. Over here is the strategies. Over here is the how to's. All right. Over here is the work. All right. Over here is the techniques. All right. What is the what is the work that I need to put in to create this watch? But this watch had to be created over here on the mental side. At first, they had to be thought about. Over here is the mind. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, the mind, the mind, the mind, the mind. All right? Now, look at this. Everything that you want to accomplish, including this $10,000 per month, is already available in the mind. Why? Because someone else has already accomplished it. It's already available to you. It's already created. The money that you want to earn is already out here. What you now have to do is learn how to attract, learn how to communicate with the mind so the mind can go and actually bring it into your life. Yes, that's really how it works. And you do it through words. You do it through visualization, through the images that you're looking at, the emotions that you have, the feelings that you have. The mind, ladies and gentlemen, works like a navigational system. That is how it works. You have a navigational system on your phone, and if you were going to use your navigational system, you would need to put the address. You would need to put what? A set of words. And your navigational system already contains every address already in it. 
It already contains the direction. It already contains the path. But you've got to know where you want to go. See, if you were right now, let's say you were at a restaurant right now. Let's say you were down the street from your home right now. You wouldn't put your address to your home in your navigational system because you already know how to get there. So you don't know how to get to $10,000 per month. So you've got to put the address in your navigational system. And then your navigational system is now going to now direct you where it is that you want to go. A lot of us are changing the address. Well, things are not working right now. Things are not moving in the direction that I wanted to move right now. It's not moving. The volume is not moving. I don't know what's going on with the company. Blah, 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 blah. But you're sending the wrong signal. You're sending the wrong frequency to the mind that knows everything, has everything. Success, ladies and gentlemen, starts here. You're working for something that doesn't exist if you haven't created it over here. Am I listening? That's the question. Are you listening right now? Are you listening? Or are you trying to figure out if this is real or not? You're trying to, oh, I don't know if this is really all what it takes. Yes, it does. So $10,000 per month. How are we going to go about creating this? Words, words, words. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am earning over $10,000 per month in my iMarkets Live business. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am earning over $10,000 per month in my iMarkets Live business. I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm sending that address. I'm sending that signal. Ladies and gentlemen, your mind has something called the RAS, your reticular activating system. What it does is it works to find, it's like an executive secretary. And whatever it is that you tell it to do, it goes and it does. It goes and finds things that are relevant to what it is that you said to it over and over and over again. Before you bought your car, the car you really wanted, you could start to see the car everywhere. Why? Because you made it relevant to your mind. You made it relevant to your RAS. So now everything that you needed to get the car shows up. Same thing with $10,000 per month. The reason why it hasn't shown up in your life yet is because you haven't made it relevant enough or you're thinking negatively about the $10,000 per month. You're thinking, I don't know if I'll ever get there. You're thinking, how am I going to get there? The how is not your problem. The how is not the challenge, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So over here, this is where success is created. And then you go out and you do the work that is necessary. All right. Now, I'm going to see if I can find this. All right. Uh, man, it's upstairs. All right. In the book, Thinking Grow Rich. All right. In the book, Thinking Grow Rich. Let me see if I can find this real quick. I'm going to give you guys the self-confidence formula. All right. Self-confidence formula. All right. Do, 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 do. I'm going to read this to you. All right. Look at this. Five steps. It says, I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Your definite purpose for now is $10,000 per month. That is the objective. All right. I know that I have it. I have the ability. I start, I begin with the end in mind. I'm not saying I'm trying to get there. I think I can get there. Maybe I can get there. No, I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistence, continuous action towards its attainment. And I here and now promise, promise to render such action. Watch this. I realize that the dominating thoughts, I realize that the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce itself. Something cannot be reproduced unless it's first produced. Over here, it's produced. Then over here, it's reproduced, all right? That I realized that the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action. So it reproduces itself in outward physical action. So over here, the work, over here is the action. But it first had to be produced over here. I know. I realize that the dominating thoughts of my mind, $10,000 per month, $10,000 per month, will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. So here's how it works. 
$10,000 per month, $10,000 per month. That's the dominating thought of my mind. I go out and I do the work. I go out and I do the work to get the $10,000 per month, right? I go out and I listen to the coaches and the mentors that are already at $10,000 per month. I do exactly what they tell me to do. I don't question it. I'm consistent. I do it every single day. And then it shows up in physical reality. Then the success shows up. But I first have to produce it in my mind. And I produce it in my mind by making it a dominating thought of my mind. Now, how do I make it a dominating thought of my mind? Watch this. All right. I hold it in my mind. It will eventually seek expression through. No, that's number three. All right. I realize that the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become, thereby creating in my mind a clear mental picture of that person. Do you see yourself as $10,000 per month? Well, the only way you're going to see yourself at $10,000 per month is that you keep saying to yourself that you are happy and grateful now that you are at $10,000 per month. And you only give that address to your navigational system. You do not change the address because of outside circumstances. You don't change the address because of the back office. You don't change the address because someone else quit. You don't change the address because of this, because of another company. You don't change the address for nothing. $10,000 per month is the only address that you send over and over and over again to your reticular activating system, to your mind. And what it's going to do, it is going to reproduce itself in physical action, in physical work, and eventually show up in your physical reality. I know through the principle of auto-suggestion. Look at that. I know through the principle of words. I know through the principle of words. Any desire that I personally, persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means. IML is the practical means. It is the practical means. Maybe it's trading is the practical means. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But this works. This was written in 1937. And it still works today. If you don't want to listen to me, do you want to listen to Rockefeller? Do you want to listen to Carnegie? These are guys that were earning billions of dollars during the Great Depression. I know through the principle of auto-suggestion that any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object back of it. Therefore, I would devote 10 minutes daily to demanding myself the development of self-confidence. I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim in life. And I will never stop trying until I shall have developed sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit all wh whom it affects. Ladies and gentlemen, you have people out there that are doing things that are hurting other people's businesses. You have, you, have people that, you have people out there that are doing things that are hurting other people's companies. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this from personal experience, ladies and gentlemen. It will fall. It will fall. If you're out there doing things that are negative, that are hurting other people's businesses, that are hurting other people's companies, if you're deliberately targeting other people's companies, if they're deliberately targeting your business in this company, I promise you it will fall. It's in here right here. I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit all human effects. I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. I will eliminate hatred. Stop hating on people. I will eliminate envy, jealousy, selfishness, cynicism by developing love for all humanity. Because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them and myself. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you right now, this works. And it works every single time. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm at $10,000 per month. I'm not going to do anything scrupulous. I'm not going to do any, any cross-recruiting. I'm not going to target another business. I'm not going to target another company in order for my own personal gain. That's not that it doesn't work. I've watched companies do that. And you look up two, three years later, they're completely done. Don't do that. You keep this address and the mind will go out and find the people for you. It will go out and find the situations for you. You keep doing the work and eventually it will show up in physical reality. This is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. 
This is how we've gotten to where it is that we've gotten to. This is how we're going to get to billionaire status. I'm not changing nothing. I'm not, I know it works 1,000% of the time. All right? So I, this, is the, this is the third step. Step number one, who are you listening to? Step number two, how teachable and coachable are you? Step number three, understanding this balance scale that I've got to create the success over here. I've got to create it in my hearing. Hearing, hearing, hearing. Faith comes by hearing. I've got to hear it over and over again. I've got to develop the, the, the emotion of love and the emotion of faith. All right? That's what I've got to develop. I've got to develop the emotion of gratitude. That's why we have the affirmation of I'm so happy and grateful. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm at $10,000 per month of income. And I'm going to show you how we're going to get there. Told you this call is going to be about the pile of 12. All right? Because what are the physical things that I need to do? What are the physical things that I need to do? Now, right now, before I go into step number four, which is the four phases of mastery, all right? We'll write this up here again. Give me one second. $10,000 per month. How are we going to get there? How are we going to get there? You eat an elephant a bite at a time. All right? One bite at a time. $10,000 per month. We're going to break more chairmans in the month of August than we have the entire time that we've been in iMarkets Live. This is going to be the biggest month that we've ever had right here. All right. Everybody wrote it down. So it's completely done. All right. Now, what's the work? The power of 12. I want you to write this down. In the month of August. In the month of August, your personal goal, your personal goal for the month of August is to personally sponsor 12 brand new customers. In the month of August, your goal, your focus. Now, you're going to get the $10,000 per month. All right? That's going to be the dominating thought. $10,000 per month. In the month of August. All right? Write this date down. From July 30th, Okay, starting tomorrow to August 31st, your goal is to personally enroll 12 brand new customers. 12 brand new customers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 12 brand new customers. That is your goal. Your goal is not platinum 1,000. Your goal is not platinum 2,000, chairman 10. You, I'm talking to you. Now, I am the voice that you're listening to right now. I'm the person that you're listening to right now that's already making more than $10,000 per month. And I'm telling you, in order to get to $10,000 per month, you have got to develop the skill set and the ability to enroll 12 brand new people into your business in one month. Just 12. Just 12. 12 brand new customers in the month of August. If your life depended on it, if your life depended on you personally enrolling 12 brand new customers in the month of August, would you get it done? 12 brand new customers in the month of August. The power of 12. I'm going to show you how powerful this is. The power of 12. 12 brand new customers. 12 brand new customers. How are we going to do it? This is the work now. This is the work. We are going to, tonight, I want you to build a list of 120 people to 150 people that you're going to expose. Exposure is everything. This is the balance scale. I've gone over the spiritual side of success. Now we're going over the physical side of success. $10,000 per month. I'm going to be at $10,000 per month. Here's the work. First thing, roll 12 brand new people starting July 30th to August 31st. I'm going to expose 120 people to 150 people. I'm going to expose them with a power phrase. John, in the last 10 years, the amount of money that's flowed through your bank account, how much money have you made on it? None. 
John, what if there was a way? What if there was a skill that you could learn that would teach you how to multiply the money that you have right now? Would you want to know about it? Yes, I do. John, grab a pen. Write this website down. IMLpresentation.com. John, write this website down. What is IML.com? Whatever website you use, online presentation, whatever it is, send that to him. John, I want you to watch this and I want you to call me back. I'm going to do this with 120 to 150 people because I know that if I just go one out of 10, I would have sponsored 12 brand new customers. I would have done it. So the plan of action to get this done is to personally expose the opportunity from now, from July 30th to August 31st, expose 120 to 150 people to the opportunity. I've created it in my mind that I'm at $10,000 per month. It's the dominating thought of my mind. I've made it a dominating thought of my mind. Now it's going to now be translated into physical action. And then I'll show up my physical reality. You say, well, David, how is it that by me getting to 12 customers personally, how does that help me get to $10,000 per month? Well, if you listen to the voice, listen to the coach, listen to the mentor, they said promote for this call. Your coach told you promote for this call. So what if you had 10 people on this call right now? And they got the same information that you're getting right now. And they went out personally and rolled 12 brand new customers in the month of August. 10 times 12 is 120 customers. You're a platinum 2000. What if you had 40 people on this call? What if you had 50 people on this call? And everybody went out and personally sponsored 12 brand new customers. That's 600 customers. You're way above Chairman, five, Chairman Ten. You're at $10,000 per month. See how that works? See, guys, when you hit a goal, it's not about you going out and doing all the work. It's about incorporating the efforts of other people. That's why it said, I'm going to read this again to you. That's why it said, I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I can't go out and get 100,000 customers on my own. I have got to incorporate the efforts of other people. I've got to incorporate the cooperation of other people. So I'm going to go on personally and roll 12, but now we've got over 1,000 people on this call that's going to go out and roll 12 as well. So now the massive goal of having the biggest month in IML's history, that now happens for the whole entire company because we we're willing to incorporate the efforts of other people. What if you had 100 people on this call right now? And they all just got a hold of this information and said, you know what? I'm going to focus on sponsoring 12. I know I'm going to be at $10,000 per month. I know I have the ability to achieve that. And I'm going to hold that thought in my mind over and over again. I don't care what the distractions are because when I'm in my car and I'm utilizing my navigational system, that is what I need to pay attention to. That is what I need to be looking at. But there's all these other distractions, this construction going on. There are other cars on the road, but I'm not focused on that. I'm not focused on the back office. I'm not focused on if another company is trying to recruit people for my business. That's not my focus. My focus is I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm at $10,000 per month. My focus is I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm at a million dollars a month. My, my focus right now is that I earn over $20 million a year. My focus right now is that I'm a billionaire by 40. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what my current situation is right now. My address is set. I'm not going to change my address because someone quits. I'm not going to change my address because someone decides they don't want to do business anymore. I'm not going to change my address because the trade went wrong. I'm going to set the tone for where is it I'm going to go. This is where I'm going to go. This is where I'm going to go. Where? Where I'm going to go. Spell where. W-H-E-R-E. -E. Take away the W. Here. I'm already here. I'm already where it is that I want to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, this stuff works. All right? Personally, World 12, I'm going to expose them utilizing that power phrase. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the plan. I'm going to show the plan. Every day, you show the plan at least one time a day. One time a day, you make sure that someone sees your opportunity, whether it's through a Zoom presentation, right? Now, listen, today is Sunday, right? We have a call that happens four times a day. It happens four times a day, imlforexoverview.com. imlforexoverview.com. We've got leaders, chairmen that are doing a call at 12 o'clock, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can invite people onto that call, all right? 12 o'clock, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 8 p.m., imlforexoverview.com. Someone put that in the chat. 
So everybody's got that. All right. So you got that opportunity there. You've got the online presentations. Am I going to do a sit down? Am I going to do a home meeting? Am I going to invite them to a hotel meeting? These are all the different exposure processes, all the different exposure tools that I can use to build the business. But because I've created $10,000 per month in my mind, because that is the dominating thought of my mind, guess what? It's going to automatically go into action mode. I'm going to do the work, but it's already created. It's already created for me that I'm at $10,000 per month. So when I go out and do the work, I'm not worried about if I'm going to get there. I know that I've already created it. And then it's going to show my physical reality. Eventually, eventually, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm not worried about it right now when I'm doing the work because I've already created it. I'm so happy and grateful now. That's the creative process. I'm grateful for it now. I don't have to wait for it to show up in my physical reality for me to be grateful for it right now. So when it happens, I can now move on to the next thing because success is a moving target. So when I get to $10,000 per month, guess what? I'm not tripping because I was at $10,000 a month when I said it. I don't get a big head. I don't get a big ego because now my goal is 30000 Now my goal is 50000 Now my goal is 100000 right? You say, well, how do you, how do you stay humble? Because I have a goal. That's how you stay humble. You have a goal. You, have, you know where else you're going because I serve a God of more. So if I'm right now and this is where I'm at, I know there's more. But I've got to keep doing what I did to get here. A friend of mine texted me and said, David, I'm, I'm making a quarter of a million dollars a year right now. What did you do differently that took you from a quarter of a million dollars a year to where you are right now? And I said, I kept doing exactly what I did to get to a quarter of a million dollars a year. This, see, once I have the answer, I don't need any more. I don't have to have any more questions. I just need to keep giving the answer. I just need to keep giving the answer. The answer is, I'm so happy and grateful now. 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 This is my goal. This is my address. My particular activating system knows how to get it. It's my executive secretary. God created this mind for me to give me everything I want to give it, to give me everything I want, but I've got to use my mouth to instruct it. It's my servant. It's not my master. All right? So I'm going to expose 120 people, 150 people. I'm going to do the presentations. At least one out of 10 are going to get involved in the business, and I'm going to first these phones to 12. What if you have 50 people on this call right now? 600 customers in your business in one month. If it halfway worked, 300 customers in your business. All right. If it 25% worked, all right, 150 customers in your business this month, the power of 12. See, guys, in setting goals, you got to write it down. So I want you to write it down. I'm so happy and grateful now that I personally enrolled 12 brand new customers in my ML business by August 31st, 2018. Did you write it down? Did you listen? Or did you just hear me? Did you write it down? Or did you just hear me? Did you listen? I'm so happy and grateful now that I personally enrolled 12 brand new customers. I know that I have the ability to achieve my, my, my definite chief aim. I know that I have the ability. One of the things that I need to do on my way to get $10,000 a month is personally enroll 12 brand new people. I'm going to do it in the month of August. By July 30th 30, July 30 to August 31st, it's completely done. It is already done. I'm going to personally enroll 12 brand new customers in the month of August. I'm going to enroll 12 brand new customers in the month of August. Everybody that's ever gotten to $10,000 a month, at one point or another in their career, they've personally enrolled at least 12 people into a business in their first 30 days. All right, you can't get to $10,000 a month without first being able to do that. Okay? That's what you got to do. Step number one. Number two, I've got a date of completion on it. I've got a date of completion on it. It's by August 31st. It's completely done. List the obstacles going to try to stop you. That's step number three. What's going to try to stop you? What distractions are going to try to stop you? Make a decision that none of these things are going to distract you. No one is going to distract me. No thing is going to distract me from changing my address or where it is that I'm going in the month of August. I am personally enrolling 12 brand new customers this month. I'm so happy and grateful now that I personally enrolled 12 brand new customers this particular month. Nothing is going to change that. Nothing is going to move me. Someone quits, it doesn't move me. Someone doesn't get involved, it doesn't move me. Someone says no, it doesn't move me. Someone quits, it doesn't move me. Uh, uh, the back office is tripping. It doesn't move me. Merchants are tripping. It doesn't move me. I'm going to personally enroll 12 brand new customers because that's what I can control. I can control my attitude. I can control my activity. I'm going to let Chris. I'm going to let Yvonne. I'm going to let Isis. I'm going to let those guys worry about the other stuff. I'm going to focus on what it is that I can focus on. That's my address. That's where it is that I'm going. I'm going to focus on because I need to develop that. I need to develop the strength in my word. I need to develop this skill set of believing. 
So if this is the vehicle I'm in right now. I'm going to develop that skill of believing right now. When I set a goal years ago in 2012, I'm going to share that story with you here in a second. All right. When I set that goal, I didn't know it was going to happen in IML. IML didn't even exist when I set that goal. When I set that goal in 2012, IML was not even in existence yet. All right. I'm going to come back to that here in a second. Step number four, I'm going to identify who I'm going to work with. I just did that. I'm going to identify 120, 150 people that I'm going to expose. I'm going to identify who my coach is, who I'm going to listen to, who am I going to do three-way calls with, who am I going to connect with on a daily basis, whether it's through text, whether it's through a phone call. All right? That's what you got to do, step number four. Number five, plan of action. Show the plan. That's the plan of action, ladies and gentlemen. Show the plan to the 120, 150 people. That's the plan. It ain't hard. Show the plan. Utilize the online services that you have. Do a sit-down. If I'm to a home meeting, I don't care. Personally enroll 12, brand, 12 to 15 brand new people this particular month, 12 customers this month. I'm going to show them the plan. It is completely done. I'm not focused on anything else. I'm going to personally enroll 12. What's in it for me is step number six. What's in it for me? I told you to write down imlsource.com. I told you to write that down. All roads are leading right now to Fort Lauderdale. We got a team of individuals that put together an amazing event. That's going to be filled with inspiration, motivation, training on Forex, training on how to build this business. You need to be there. I'm the voice. I'm the voice you need to listen to right now. All right. You have coaches and mentors that you need to listen to right now. And they're saying the same thing I'm saying right now. You need to be in Fort Lauderdale. What's in it for you? I just told you, if you have 50 people on, your, on this call right now and they do exactly what I just shared with you, that's 600 customers, you're Chairman 10. That's what's in it for you. But here's what I'm going to do. The first 12 people, the first 12 people that enroll 12 brand new customers in the month of August, starting July 30th, starting July 30th, the first 12 people, all right, the first 12 people that enroll 12 brand new customers in the month. I'm not just doing this for my organization. I'm doing this for the entire company. I don't care if you're my group or not. If you do this, you win. Okay. If you do this, you win. The first 12 people that personally enroll 12 brand new customers in the month of August, starting July 30th, so starting tomorrow, the first 12 people on stage, on stage in Fort Lauderdale at IML Source, you will receive from me personally $1,000 cash, 12 $100 bills directly from myself the first 12 people that actually get this done. The first 12 people that go out and personally enroll 12 brand new customers, you receive $1,000 cash from me on stage. Now here's what you've got to do. You have to buy your ticket for imlsource.com. If you go to that website right now, you can purchase your tickets. You can actually purchase. Uh, you can also book your hotel room. We've got a list right there, all the hotel rooms, the different prices. They're all close to the convention center where the event is actually going to be. In order for you to win, you have to have bought your ticket by midnight, July 30th. So, yes, in the next 24 hours, you have had to have bought your ticket to IML Soar, to, to IML Soar's event in Fort Lauderdale. So go there right now. Remember, who are you listening to? Remember. Are you teachable and coachable? Remember that. Remember that. It's the basics to success. It is the basics to you getting the $10,000 per month. Go to the website. Purchase your ticket. I want you to post it on your Facebook page. The receipt. Post it on your Facebook page that you bought your ticket, whether it was tonight or latest by midnight. All right. The post has to be up there. Because if you're part of the first 12 people to actually sponsor 12, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at your Facebook account. All right. We're going to look at your Facebook account and we're going to say, OK, did you post on this date your receipt that you purchased your ticket to IML Source? OK. And if you did and you're part of the first 12, the first 12 to enroll 12 brand new customers. All right then you will receive $1,000 cash directly from me on stage. That's what's in it for you. But outside of that, if you have 50 people on this call, if you have 10 people on this call, if you have 200 people on this call, 
Okay. And guess what? Look what happens to your business. It explodes. All right, guys, you've got to be patient with this process. You've got to be patient with this process. Who do you listen to? How teach one coachable are you? The success balance scale. The four phases of mastery. Unconscious incompetence. You don't know that you don't even know. Conscious incompetence. You now know you don't know. That's a good place to be. That's a place of humility. Conscious competence. I'm now conscious of my words. I'm conscious of my thoughts. I'm only going to speak positive. Yeah, I may see things are negative, but I'm only going to speak positive. Yeah, things are not going so well in the physical, but I'm going to speak positive because what I speak can eventually change my physical reality. Because what I'm what I speak will eventually reproduce itself in some act, some outward action, and then it will turn into a physical reality. So I'm only going to speak positive. I'm going to be conscious of that. I'm going to be very conscious of that because my mouth and in the word mouth is out. Is out in the word mouth. Anything I come that comes out of my mouth automatically comes out into my life. So even though I see something that may not be right, I'm going to speak what's right. I'm going to speak what it is that I desire because anything I hold in my mind, any desire that I hold in my mind for a lengthy period of time will come to pass. All right. This is what I've got to do. All right. This is what I've got to do every single time, every single time. Be conscious of it. So I'm now conscious, competent. And when I do it over and over again and I'm conscious of what I'm saying, I'm conscious of what I'm thinking. Eventually, I'll fall into unconscious competence where it'll be automatic. It'll be automatic. I'll only speak positive. I only see things the right way. Not that, not, not that you're not going to have challenges. Not that there are not going to be things that come up that need to be handled, right? But I'm only going to focus on what it is that I can control. That's what I'm going to focus on. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of times you, you hear us speak and you think, oh, David, you don't know what it is that I'm going through. You don't know the situation that I'm in. You don't know, ladies and gentlemen, you don't know either. <laughs> okay? You don't know the challenges that I've had in my life. You don't know the challenges that I've had in business. You don't know the challenges that I've had in my personal life. But guess what? Who cares? So what? So what, ladies and gentlemen? Everybody's got challenges. Everybody's got issues. Everybody's got problems. So what? So what? That's the mentality you've got to have. Because the challenges that you're facing today, they're going to be different challenges five years from now, 10 years from now. But you've got to develop the person that can handle those challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, 2012, I was 29 years old. I made $2.2 million that year. I learned from the person that I was listening to that in November of every year, you write down your goals for the following year. I wrote down a goal that I was going to make $5 million in 2013. I wrote that goal down. I took a $5 bill and I changed it to $5 million. I put it on my bathroom sink. And every morning, I sent that, I, I, I sent that signal. All right. What it is that I'm seeing, I put it up there in the uh, down scale visualization, the images that are in your life. So every day I saw it. 2013 rolls around. I made 1.7 million. So I didn't make 5 million. I made 1.7 million. So that was the first year things started to go down. But. I put that $5 million bill on my bathroom sink. 2013 is when God gave Christopher Terry the vision to start IML. I didn't know about IML. IML didn't know about me. But I had that $5 million bill written. I had that $5 million bill on that, on that table. I had signs in my house that I was making over half a million dollars a month. If you go on, if you go on YouTube right now, Okay, I'm still on the call. All right, I'm still on the call. All right, if you go on, you, if you go on Google, all right, you could probably still see that image that I said in 2000. I, I wrote it down in 2012. I was gonna be at, or in 2013, I'll be at half a million dollars a month. 2013, 1.7 million. 2014, 1.1 million. 
I still got five million dollar bill right, right there. Stay every morning. Okay. So I ain't coming two years. It's cut in half. How would you handle that? How would you handle going from 2.2 million to 1.1 million? 2014 was a tough year. Tough year. I was in I was in Nigeria building the business, building that company. And there were certain places I was traveling to that didn't have the best, uh, I guess, the best living conditions. <laughs> I was a millionaire. I was taking bucket showers, you know, bucket in the in the tub and, and a bowl. And I'm taking bucket showers as a millionaire. I spent over three hundred thousand dollars of my own money to help that company open up in Nigeria because I'm originally from Nigeria. So I wanted to make sure that it was a success. 2014, I made 1.1 million. If Nigeria didn't open up, I would have made less than 1.1 million. 2015 rolls around. Companies made changes. See, no company is responsible for your financial future. IML is not responsible for your financial future. Chris Materic, Isis Del Torre, Alex Moni Von Tapia, they're not responsible for your financial future. I'm not responsible for that. You are. You are. You learning what it is that I shared with you is what makes you responsible for your financial future. We don't get the glory when you become successful. God gets the glory. You get to keep the cash. That's how it works. It's not me. It's not Yvonne. It's not Chris. It's not Julian. It's not China. It's not it's not your coaches, ladies and gentlemen. They're just the example. They're just the voice that God has put in your life that you need to listen to. Because every time God wants to change something in your life, he sends you a person. 2015 rolls around, make $650,000. So from 2012, 2.2, now 2015, three years later, I'm at 650. So about a third of what I was making. 2016 rolls around. Make three hundred thousand dollars, three hundred seventeen thousand dollars to be exact. Three hundred seventeen thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. I got married tomorrow, two years ago, July thirtieth. Still didn't know anything about IML. So two years ago, I wake up in the morning. July 30th. And we don't we don't have the money for a big wedding. We don't have we don't have the money to to to, to go out and you know get married in the Bahamas or go out and get married in Hawaii or destination wedding. No, I ain't no money for that. All right. Even though I had invested every single week for a couple of years, I was calling my financial advisor, hey, send me, send me ten thousand dollars, you know, sell, sell that position, sell that stock. Send me 15000 In the month of July, I looked this up the other day. In the month of July, in my investment accounts, I withdrew $60,000. I woke up that morning. I showed my mom the ring, <laughs> the ring that I was going to give my wife. And my mom looked me in my face and said, son, that's not going to work. <laughs> I had a Rolex watch. All right. I had a Rolex watch. Diamonds all around it, presidential. I paid thirty-seven thousand dollars for it. The jeweler that I bought it from said, "If you ever need to sell it back, I'll sell it. I'll, I'll buy it back from you at half the price." That morning, I went and pawned my watch. Me and my daughter went to the, that that same jeweler, pawned it. Now I thought I paid thirty-seven thousand dollars for it, but turns out I only paid thirty-three thousand. That's another story for another day. <laughs> So I got 16,500 and I used that to buy a ring. And I thought I'd be able to get my watch back, but I never got that watch back. I woke up that morning, I had $9,000 to my name. $9,000 was left in my investment account. IML comes around October, 2016. Everything that I had learned, everything that I had listened to, I saw that this was an opportunity for me to take hold of everything that I had learned. And I start to say every day that we would have 100 channels. Every single day, I made that the dominating thought of my mind. 
and went out there and did the physical work, and it showed up in physical reality. When we said it, I know had one chairman, one chairman position, Jason Brown and Matt Rosen. There was no evidence in the company of success, zero. Doesn't mean the company wasn't a good company. Just at that time, there was no evidence of it. But we kept saying it over and over again. 100 chairmen, 100 chairmen. It was togetherness, it was unity. Ladies and gentlemen, when you come together on a common goal and there's unity, everything can happen. Anything can happen. So I, I may not be in your situation, but I've been in my situation. And guess what? Everything I just told you is exactly how we got out of that situation. And today, all I'll say is that God is very good. All right, Chairman 500 guys, it's half a million dollars base. All right, so that's not all it is. And two years ago, this morning, when I wake up tomorrow, when I woke up, I had $9,000 to my name after making millions of dollars, having to sell all the stocks and the investments that I had. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if God can do it for me, he can do it for you too. Go to imlsource.com and get your ticket. Tonight, first thing roll, 12 brand new customers this month. It is completely done. Completely done. If you're going to do it, if you know you're going to do it, I want you to type 777 in the chat right now that you're ready to rock and roll. I appreciate you guys so much. We're going to close this party out. Close this call out here. We went over a little bit. But I think it was well worth it. All right. We got the goal. IMLSource.com. Go there, get your ticket, post it on your Facebook, put it in, put it in IML Elite. All right. Put it in IML Elite that you are there. All right. And we will we will check that. We will check your Facebook account. If you're one of the 12, all right. If you're one of the 12, ladies and gentlemen, you will actually get that um, $1,000 cash, all right? So, let's rock and roll. Appreciate you guys. Let's get this volume up here. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go.